Hi to all. Uh, today we will do another form finding example. Uh, I have here um, a simple um, a simple model of a circle stand, and um, let's see how big this is. Don't remember how big it is. Um, dims, and let me let's measure uh, this uh, circle stand from here to here. And this is um, 26 meters. And uh, 26 meters on that side. Let's change the units for these dimensions. We can go here. We can go uh, here in the unit textile, and I want to show in uh, meters. So here we have 26 meters and half of this is 11 meters. So this is a s classical circus, elliptical circus tent. Uh, we see here the, the ellipses and we have uh, mainly uh, one module, this module here. And this module is uh, mirrored four times, two times and then half on the other time. So basically we, we just need to create one of these uh, modules and then uh, mirror it. So first thing I need is uh, to place my top ring up here. Um, I will activate my construction layer and draw a line from the center point to to my my mast and use the extend curve uh, up to the boundary here and click on my on my boundary line let's move this this curve here I will move it here so UCS vertical two points through this point here and this point here and um, yeah uh, draw draw a curve ah let's we need to trim this first so uh, trim cutting curves these two here and let's trim this circle and again this one and this one and let's trim the ellipse so I have the boundary edges of my uh, my field and we can draw an oops curve start from the middle and uh, click anywhere here just to have a point go over this point here go down and go up to the middle of this one so I have made this <laughs> this curve again. Let's uh, fix it like that, and maybe fix it like this. As you remember, we can we can even make uh, okay. I will keep it like that. Oops. I have edited this one. This is not in the middle. Yeah. Let's be sure. Let's uh, transform, and we will project this curve. Um, edit curves. Uh, project on your GS. Delete the input curves, yes, this one, and project. So now we are sure that this curve is on our on our plane. Okay, uh, as usual, I will put the UCS um, uh, world, and we need a surface now here to start working, and uh, we will use again the uh, sweep sweep on rails. My first rail is this one my second rail is this okay so right click to confirm 
my two rails that is asking uh, for the profiles and this is my first profile this is my second profile and my third profile and so we have created a very <laughs> strange surface like that but again remember that this is not the geometry I need the surface for generating my mesh so let's draw a circle on the ground by center radius here and uh, 0 0.25 and again project the um, um, project curve on a surface, on this surface project this curve here it is again we trim trimming curve is this and clear uh, the midpoint here Okay. so we have created this strange surface it doesn't seem to be uh, a circle stand now of course we could uh, do yeah let's just do it right now create a new layer membrane and uh, create a new tensor group into the layer like that select my mesh and again into the fem tools uh, generate generate edges uh, I will put my mesh uh, one meter so to have not so uh, big mesh and just click with OK so we have created a mesh here and we need again the um, the edges of this mesh so we can use again the tool detect edges change the degree 30 degrees again so I have four edges on this uh, on this mesh and apply so these are my four edges Uh, we will edit these edges later uh, but now let's hide the construction layer and we see that this uh, the mesh is upside down uh, so as usual I double click to select all the mesh and flip to have the mesh in the correct direction okay um, we want to copy it now and when we use the transform tools in the CAD we have uh, a lot of transform tools like uh, copy mirror and move and so on these tools when we are using uh, fem entities they work only with a pre-selection what does this mean we have to pre-select the objects we want to copy so I have selected the mesh and the edges of the mesh and now I will uh, recall the mirror the mirror tool first of all has an option for copy yes it's active because I want to make a copy of the selection and then I it's uh, asking to select objects so I just enter to confirm my uh, selection set and the selection plane is from here to here that's it so we have duplicated the mesh we see now that the mesh again is uh, upside down because mirroring a mesh mirrors also the the direction of the mesh so I have to double click on the on the mesh we have just created and and uh, in the fem tools uh, flip it that's it so we have made again uh, this one uh, I will repeat this operation but now I will select all the meshes and all the edges like that and I will recall again the CAD tools mirror copy yes enter right click to, to confirm the, the selection and then my mirror plane is from here to here 
again my mesh is upside down so we have to go down to this mesh here and uh, control double click on the other one so we have selected this part of the mesh in the femtools uh, flip so we have created all the meshes but we must say now that we have duplicated a lot of edges in the middle here we have uh, two edges uh, one that was part of this mesh and one that was part of the other one uh, but we have a tool find overlap elements find and select all except the first element we use this option and we see that he has selected a number of chain elements I just delete these okay so now what we have if we go to the chains I can see that we have only uh, one chain for each of these I mean the duplicated edge has been uh, has been deleted mm. um, we need to apply properties to these so first of all I need to this is um, I call internal chains in internal int this is not internal this is internal this is not internal and this is not internal go to the other chain this is not this is internal and this is not a chain internal edge last one here this is external external and external okay so let's double click on these chains to select all of them mm -hmm. this one so I have selected all the edges and all these edges I will flag them as beams uh, linear and fix it and put uh, that's it of course we need to release to change the properties for the internal elements that's why I have named them int so it's easy to detect which are the internal elements uh, so I am selecting them here they are the four internal elements we could is also delete these elements but I'm just going to flag them now as uh, small cable elements they are nonlinear cables, um, form fine deformable, and let's say uh, mm, eight millimeter cable. Um, yeah, uh, one thing is wrong here. Mm, again, we need to set up settings. Um, the form finder has to be the natural force density method. Okay, so I go into my construction layer. I freeze my construction layer and here we see we have selected these elements so these are cable elements they are nonlinear and pretension okay yeah it's one let's leave it to one we have to set properties for the membrane mesh and that's quite easy mesh tools wipe web meshing tools the x y plane is the width plane for this again for the second one warp width the x y plane is the width plane is the width plane for the third one and the last one warp width mapping tools is the width plane okay uh, we want to select now all the mesh so I will filter on mesh entities I open a big window and this mesh we just need to set the priestess warp with priestess and the type we can run uh, the form finder again only one step and run the form finder that's it see this is uh, 
final shape form find we can activate the priestess hide the mesh and what's nice here we see that the blue is almost one so the priestess of this membrane is one it's clear that we should change a little bit here maybe pull up give a li little bit more priestess on the conical tips to pull it up this is how the the, the natural first density method uh, works that's all for this tutorial thank you